Here are the materials you'll be needing. We've got two bags of concrete, a bit of gel pipe, so this is 30 mil wide by 1.2 mil thick. Uh, some containers there, so I got these from, from Bunnings. Uh, these will be tens, sevens, and these cute little ones here are your fours. I got some screws, so you'll be putting these at the end of your gel pipe, just as reinforcement for your concrete. Uh, as you can see, I've actually I've bought these from from Bunnings. They're, they're quite cheap. I think these were like you know three dollars. I think these were dollar fifty, and they were like fifty cents or something. So yeah, re really really cheap there. But obviously, you can use things like Milo tins, uh, ice cream containers, uh, possibly empty paint tins if you've got them. Uh, I'm a bit of a minimalist, so I tend to throw a lot of things out. That's why I ended up buying mine. Uh, so if you're a hoarder at this time, you're in, you're in luck here. Tools you'll be needing. So we've got a hacksaw for cutting your gel pipe. Got a drill for putting your screws in at the end of your gel pipe. Triangle trowel for smoothing out your plates. Got a shovel for mixing the concrete up. And got a tray here. I've actually misplaced my wheelbarrow. I don't know where the hell it's gone. So that's the next best thing. And last but not least, we got the Makita boombox. Very important. First thing what we need to do is measure out our gel pipe. So this is actually a three meter length. So we've got three barbells. So obviously we want meter lengths. So we go one meter. Two meters, and by right, we should be left with one meter. 900. Mm. The old 100 mil trick. Gets you every time. Now it's time to get your hacksaw and start cutting. So now it's time to mix the concrete up. So per bag, what we're after is about 2.5 litres of water and the consistency that we're after is kind of like toothpaste. the first step done. Now I like to give these a bit of a tap just to uh, get all the air bubbles out. So you want to you want to tap it the whole way around. So the concrete is called that honeycomb. You don't want any honeycomb. It looks pretty terrible from the side view if you do. Now up here I put screws at the side of each gel pipe. So that's just for overnight so it doesn't move. So tomorrow we'll come back and we'll tip it around the other side and do the same thing. Now time for some smoke, eh? barbells for under forty dollars can't go wrong what a bargain so you got your 20s 14s and last but not least we have our sevens I've decided to paint these you're more than welcome to leave them that gray concrete color if that's what you're into I've decided to go the colors of the indigenous flag because I really love what the colors represent so the red represents the earth or the sand yellow represents the Sun and the black represents the people. Now let's go smash out some drop sets. 